Caves in West Wales are habitats for a relatively large range of animals. A stream that created and still runs through Ogoff Maros has a catchment of agricultural grassland. It has low levels of pollution, is nutrient rich and has healthy freshwater ecology. The surface stream has a range of discharges from a small river and lake in winter to a dry stream bed in summer. And even on the first descent, worms, shrimps and several resident trout were observed. To obtain a more detailed cave life survey, cave biologist Andy Lewington visited the cave in spring 2016. And this is a report on his findings. In the entrance passage are threshold spiders on orb webs. This is thin little glitters. Yeah. Okay, so somewhere up there is a spider. <laughs> yeah. And then the spider is right at the top. Up the top. Yeah. Oh, it's pretty tiny though, isn't it? Around to this lot here. Although they're outside. In the main stream, the freshwater shrimp Gammarus pulex was found, some of which had lost their colour from being underground. A rich fauna of shrimps, mayfly, caddis and other larvae can be seen here. And there's a fly larvae, can you see it just there? Just twitching. Oh, there's a, there's a yeah. mayfly. The active streamways contain stonefly nymphs. Stonefly, the dead one, but. I'm finding some sort of interesting group to eat. And it's blue. Yeah. Big red eye. That's the brown. Yeah, that little one. Oh, that, that, that little one that's scurrying around there. Oh, yeah. Um, in spring, live caddis fly and lace wings can be seen on the cave walls. Really, the caddis, caddis flies is lots, and they all a little bit brown. And... That one's quite a large one, is it? Yeah. It's, yeah. About as big as they get. Fungal growth on dead flies attached to the cave walls create strands that hold water droplets. That's the one that you chop it in the four and it each bit grows yes, I haven't, up. I haven't tried it. Yeah. <laughs> Flatworms were found on the rocks in the stream. These are predators and live in cool flowing water. A few mollusks are evident in the stream and near boulder chokes. Oh, it's 
Oh, no, no, he's alright. <laughs> you would think you'd run out of energy, wouldn't you? What's he eating, anyway? Okay. Some other creatures to eat. Yeah. Small rafts of springtails were observed in static pools. Solitary ones, yeah. Are the they yellow, the same ones? The yellowish and then they've got the Antonius slightly paler. Almost white. The cave is particularly noted for its population of brown trout. Several appear to be long-term residents. You have to get him half and half, won't you? Yeah, Compared to my hand, he's, he's, yeah. you know, he's quite a bit bigger than the hand. There seems to be sufficient food for them, and also they survive the summer when the surface stream dries up. There's much evidence of worm activity in the cave, both in the form of worm casts and also the worms themselves around on the surface. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it's a, that, that's, a, that's a worm cast area. And it's got... There's some of those down by the... in a couple of other places. This is a different species of worm. Yeah. 